name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today the church keeps the memorial of St. Cecilia, virgin and martyr of the church. During the time of Emperor Diocletian in the late 3rd century, in the beginning of the 4th century, there was a Christian persecution because the emperor thought that those who practice Christianity, it was a threat to the empire because the Roman Empire was all it was very social, there were many, many social strata, the kings, the nobles and the slaves. But the Christianity began to say that all are children of God and all are equal. The society of Roman society of unequal was threatened by this Christian message. Therefore, the emperor began persecuting this way of life. And it was this time that Sicilia and his and her husband and her brother were together martyred, they were beheaded for not offering emperor worship by not offering sacrifice to the idols. During this time, very many Christians sealed their faith with their blood. They became victims to the mouth of the lions. They were burnt alive and so on and so forth. Yet in all this, they were very strong in bearing witness for Christ. It is also said in the tradition that St. Cecilia composed very many hymns in the praise of Jesus. Therefore, she is heralded as the patron saint of all the choir members. In the first reading, we see the vision of Apostle John about the harvest of the nations. During the time of the judgment, the angels will begin to collect all the people for the judgment of God. In the gospel, Jesus speaks about the signs of his coming. First of all, in the church, there will be many false prophets who claim themselves as Christ. Secondly, in the nations, between there will be signs of wars and calamities. And thirdly, in the nature, there will be earthquake, floods and so on and so forth. Amidst all these signs, the persecution of the believers also will begin. And Jesus exhorts us, be perseverant in all this so that you will gain your souls. Therefore, the Christian faith that we have received is not a faith of slavery to fear or sin. The Christian faith we have received by those who have given themselves to the lions, to the fire and to the sword. That is the Christian spirit of living in freedom of Christ. Therefore, we are not slaves of sin, slaves of darkness, slaves of fear, but we are only slaves of Christ and for his love. Therefore, we are called to live as the Christian vocation, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, whom God has called out of darkness into his own marvelous light. Let us then pray living in the light of the resurrection of Christ, we may bear witness for Christ in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.